Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a completed book video. Uh, I apologize, I haven't really been around. Thanks to everyone who's stuck around waiting uh, for a video to come out. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some more done. I know I haven't really done a completed pages video, I don't think at all this year. So I'm going to do that here next. Um, and get that video out. So some of it you'll see in here um, will be in that video as well. So I finished my Colorage Wowed by Emmanuel Collin and there's 14 different designs and there's duplicates of those designs. I only completed one set except for one picture that I did twice. Um, so we will go through that. And I think I started this book in 2020. If I'm not mistaken. So this one here, um, I haven't shown on the channel. This one was done in March. Um, I, do, I did this with um, the Albert Dorr watercolor pencils and I, I would think it was the first time I actually used them. I'm not the greatest with skin with those yet. So other than that, I was pretty happy with the results and I don't do backgrounds a lot just because it's just a lot of work. <laughs> um, I did this one in May. Uh, not real thrilled with the skin. I was trying a different technique to doing the skin. Uh, I mean, it's okay, but yeah, I wasn't as thrilled with it. Um, and then I put these cute little rhinestones in the flowers, which I thought was kind of cute. And that one was done with Prismacolors. I also did this one in March, again with the skin, wasn't completely happy with it, wasn't happy with the hummingbird, yeah, and I don't, put it right down what I used, um, this was Prismacolors and then I used the Derwent Metallics on the hummingbird. This one is not noted, so it was previously done, and I, I like it, it's alright. <clears throat> I like this hummingbird better than I did that other hummingbird. This one I did, so the hummingbird was done with Shuttle Arts and Prismacolors, and then the flowers were Artsia. And everything else was Prismacolors. Pale skin. I don't know why I do such pale skin. This one's done in the second half. Don't ask me why I skipped. I have no clue. This is one of my favorites in the book. Um, I really like the results of it. And it was all Prismacolors. Um, I was just really pleased with it. And then we have this one. And it was done with uh, Castle Arts. Again, with the pale skin. I don't know why. This one wasn't happy with the skin. The background turned into a disaster. <laughs> but in the end, I, I actually like the final result. Um, <clears throat> this was um, some aerosol spray with glitter in. I forget the name of it right now and I didn't write it down, and it started warping the page. It actually turned out fine after the fact, but it was started warping the page, so I stopped spraying. And so this layer down here didn't have any glitter, so I broke out a stencil and my inks and did that. I wish I would have picked a color more closer to that now, looking back on it, but I have the double to do. <laughs> so this is the one that I actually did on both um, both copies. So this one, and again with the pale skin. I don't know what I did with that one. I think that one was, I think this one's regular pencil. And then I did this with watercolor pencils. Again with the pale skin. So, and then this one I just did, uh, this was the last one I completed in the, um, in this book, 
um, this month and I absolutely love it. Like, it's one of my favorites. Um, I went back to the skin tone I used on the picture that I actually really enjoyed doing and I try I I ended up so normally I would go with a different color up here but I pulled some of the colors out of here and put up into here and I thought oh is that gonna be too much and I took the greens from the leaves and made them her her eye color and of course the the inner lip so I but I'm really happy with with the results and that was some of Prisma colors <clears throat> this one here I did in the second half again I don't know why I flipped um, and that one was um, Prismacolor Lum Luminance and then the background was this copper ink that I got and I was just experimenting with it. I just thought the copper would go really well with the skin tone and the yellow and then I put um, one of them Glitterifics, I'm pretty sure one of them type I, didn't, I don't think I wrote it down on here. I don't see it. Um, and I added that too because it just needed something. And back here, then we have this one. And this is another one of my favorites. I really enjoy this one and the stenciled background. Um, that was done with Prismacolors and Distress Ink. And the flowers, leaves, eyes, and lips, flowers, leaves, eyes, and lips were all done with Albert Dorr watercolor. So a little bit of everything in that one. And then this one here, I used um, a technique from another YouTuber, Chelsea. Uh, normally she mixes this or does a background colored and then puts Mod Podge it, glitter in the Mod Podge and then puts it on. Uh, I just did it plain. <clears throat> and then she's colored with um, Prisma colors. And then I believe that was the end. And did I not show that one? Oh, yeah, so this one I skipped up there and I did back here and this was watercolor pencils. I think that's why I went to the, the second half with this one because it was watercolor as well as um, <clears throat> this one was watercolor and then I did the ink. So I think I was thinking the second half of the book do mix or water or mixed media on the second half and pencil on the first half I think was what I was originally going for but yeah that's the completed of that book um and I'm going to number two uh working on that one I have all seven and I do randomly work in all of them have colored in all of them except for the new one um and I'm just gonna start working in two and try to you know complete it at least the 14 so any questions feel free to comment Thanks for watching and thanks for sticking around. Take care. Bye.